All right, Elizabeth. Thank you, Steve. Well, she refuses to talk. That's why Lois Lerner's emails were supposed to be crucial in the IRS scandal investigation. But now, not only does the agency claim it lost Lerner's emails in a computer crash, it also lost the emails of six other employees with ties to the scandal. How exactly does that happen? Well, one Lois Lerner email that wasn't deleted offers a theory here. Take a look at this. It says, quote, sometimes stuff just happens. California Congressman Darrell Issa, chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, just subpoenaed the agency's commissioner about those missing emails. Good morning, sir. Thank you for being with us. So, well, sometimes, thank you, Elizabeth. sometimes things just happen. You know, uh, I think back to uh, the old black and white series with Lucille Ball when uh, Ricky Ricardo would say, Lucy, you've got some splaining to do. <laughs> the IRS has some splaining to do. Uh, these systems are designed not to be lost. They're not loaded uh, in any ordinary course on people's personal computers where people covered by the Federal Records Act, in other words, they're part of the National Archive System, can simply delete or have a crash or their computer can be stolen. They're located on servers that are either continuously backed up or backed up at least nightly. We believe these emails could be found unless, in fact, the IRS and Lois Lerner have made sure they can't be found. We expect that forensics will get them. Right now, we've subpoenaed the hard drive in question. We've been falsely told that the uh, IG has them. He has indicated what he has is the latest computer, not the disk drive that supposedly failed. Right. Did the commissioner make any mention of this um, in his original statements that these were the lost in February? The, the commissioner knew or should have known that this had already occurred, that they were getting us data through other sources and failed to tell us month after month. It's contemptible and he's going to have some answering to do, but so are people up and down the IRS. We're tired of, in fact, being misled or lied to. In this case, the American people clearly were targeted for their, their belief and their free speech by a president and an IRS who disagreed with a Supreme Court decision known as Citizens United. That's at the core of all this. The emails we have, Elizabeth, show that, in fact, these people were trying to overturn a Supreme Court decision and target conservative groups because they don't like what conservatives say. And that's at the heart of this. If Lois Lerner is the kingpin, so be it. But if we can't see the connections in her emails fully, we won't know all the people that worked with her to target unfairly Americans for what they believe, what they say, and who they want to associate with. Right. I mean, Secretary Clinton said yesterday right here on Fox News that this, is, this should be a real investigation. It should keep it going. This is nonpartisan. But let me ask you this. What if we don't get these emails, Congressman? We we don't hear from Lois Lerner. She's not talking. These emails, peculiarly, are missing. We can't find them. They can't find them. What if we don't get them? What's next? Lois Lerner broke regulations. Lois Lerner broke laws. And Lois Lerner, under oath, testified she didn't. I consider that perjury. I expect that she will be criminally referred, and if not under this attorney general, who seems to have no stomach for going after friends of the president, under the next president, those charges will be brought. Not a fight you're willing to give up. We want to thank you for being with us, Congressman Issa. Thank you, Elizabeth.